published, I wrote a book and it was published in uh, 2000, 2013. Uh, it's called uh, Dansen op een zijde draad. And uh, it's about my uh, search for a doctor who wanted to amputate both my breasts when I was 21 years old. Um, in my family we have a breast cancer gene, which means that uh, if, you ha if you have the gene that you have a chance on a breast cancer uh, for 60 to 85 percent. All the women in my family who have the gene, they uh, oh yeah, were sick at a very young age. Uh, I lost my mother 10 years ago on uh, breast cancer and it was very sad. I had a lot of positive response about the book. It was really, really like a storm of media. Uh, everybody wants to know something about the book. They wanted to hear my story. And that was really a surprise for me because I didn't realize that this story was still new to tell. Um, it was not my goal to have a lot of media attention or something, but everybody wanted to know something about it. Well, last year the news came out that Angelina Jolie also amputated both breasts and it was not even 9 o'clock in the morning and I already had all the news stations, radio and everybody wanted to talk with me about that subject and it was so strange for me to realize that I was the spokesperson if yeah, something about this subject uh, came up and um, at the evening I was at Paul Witteman, it's a very big show in Holland and uh, almost two million people, they watch the show and after that you don't realize that it's good that you didn't realize that two million people were on the other side of the television. Um, and after this, um, this day full of media attention I was asked to, uh, to speak on congresses, uh, to come to, uh, to companies to tell it about uh, my story is like an inspirational speaker and it was yeah for me it was very strange to 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 yeah to realize that people see me as a role model and that I can make a real difference by telling this story in April 2014 I was uh, asked to do the opening talk of an academic breast cancer center in Rotterdam uh, and I was wondering what can I tell them what is new because there were only doctors and nurses and psychologists. Um, so I did the talk for 10 minutes and then I went back to my place. And then the host of the, of the day, she went back to the stage and she was like, <gasps> she wanted to say something and she started crying really loud. And then I was like, hmm? she's crying. And I was looking around and everybody was crying. And then I, and then I thought, I was really able to tell them something new because it was, a, it was about the human connection I gave uh, the story that they were working with every day, a face. And uh, I was able to tell them that I was really thankful for everything they did for us. And uh, it really hit me, but it hit them as well. I started my own company two and a half years ago. I'm always very proud if I can, if I can say that. Half of my week I work on uh, projects in the field of marketing, communication and organizing events for all different kind of uh, uh, companies. Uh, and the other half of my week I'm a manager of a house for people with cancer and their relatives. Uh, it's a foundation where uh, 110 uh, volunteers work and we are uh, the manager of that, uh, that house and there every year there are like 8,000 uh, visits of people with cancer and it's really the place where my heart is uh, and I really followed my heart by doing this work and it, I can really make a difference when I'm working there.